Now, the idea that we humans are made of two uh, components is an idea that turns out uh, many um, philosophers have, have, have talked about. Uh, I've read in a few books, I, I did mention somewhere that I, the first place I came across this idea was a book by, written by Robert Greene, The Law of Human Nature. Uh, but I think I've come across in many other texts. And as I was reading this particular book, uh, I, came, I, I again came across it that Maimonides also believes that we are made of two components. We have the intellectual divine part of us, that is the higher part of us, and we have the lower part of us, that is the animal part. Now, the higher part, the divine part, guides us, is wise, uh, gives us wisdom and understanding and knowledge, uh, all those, and it, it, it gives us the capacity to analyze our environment in a way that we are able to find solutions that work. It's also when we use it, we are able to plan long term and find long term strategies for survival, things like that. And it's also the part of us that tries to connect to the with the divine out there, with something that's beyond us. It's the, it's the part of us that wanders and is perplexed by the universe and, and the, 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 the entire uh, existence that we have as humans and of course of other beings around us. Uh, meanwhile, the lower part of us is, is more passionate, uh, is more irrational, uh, it acts uh, in the moment, uh, and that's the part that carries the emotions, anger, you know, love, and all those things come from, that's like jealousy, you know, all those emotions are based in our lower uh, human part. Um, so, Maimonides, I, I did mention another video that there is a lesson that he, he tries to pass across that he, he finds in the book of Job, and I've told you that he believes the book of Job is fictional, but he thinks the book still provides very profound ideas. And it's this idea of, um, of, of us having that, yes, we are form of these two parts, but you also walk around with the, the angel and the, I can call it the demon. We, we have both of them, like, um, as humans, we don't exist just having the angel or just having the demon. We, we have both. And every time we walk, we, we have both of them with us. And um, I've mentioned this before. Um, I've, I, 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 I do listen a lot to the Canadian philosopher, no, 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 uh, it's like a clinical psychologist, um, what is his name, Jordan Peterson. And I remember one time he was talking about the evil in us. And he was saying, before you call yourself a good person, you need to know how much evil you have in yourself, how much, uh, how much evil you are capable of before you, 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 you understand that about yourself. He says you shouldn't even uh, attempt to say that you are a good person because all of us have evil in us. Now, I'm going to read uh, what my morality says about uh, that and then I'll say some more. So here I read, the same idea is contained in the passage and the imagination of the heart of man is evil from his youth that he says we are evil from the time we are born. Of course, it's an idea that um, is in most religions that we are born evil, and that's why we need redemption, especially when you think of, about Christianity in particular. The theory of, of the good and the evil inclination uh, is frequently referred to in our religion. Our sages also say, serve God in your good and, and, and your evil inclinations, which is interesting that you should serve God with your, your good and also your evil inclination. And they also say that the evil inclination we receive at birth, that we are born with that evil inclination. I'm going to, to, to give my personal opinion of what that really means. Maybe it's not what it really meant, but what I'm into, what is the picture I'm getting in my head when I read that. Um, for at the door sin crotcheth, that's a verse in the Bible, as it is distinctly said in the law. And the imagination of the heart of Man is evil from his youth. The good inclination, however, comes from the meaning is developed. Like, we are born evil. It comes natural to be evil. But to be good, we have to learn. We learn to be good, but we are born evil. Um, now, this is a, a, the way I'm interpreting it. Um, maybe somebody else will interpret it in a different way. Is that the lower part of us is the one that is mostly evil. And remember, my Maimonides uh, say that evil is the lack of knowledge or lack of something, but in particular, he says evil is mostly lack of knowledge, lack of wisdom, things like that. So, or it's based on that. So we are not born wise, 
we are not born knowledgeable we are born ignorant and um, during with that ignorance our lower human is the most powerful we, 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 we are greedy, we are selfish, we are angry, we, our emotions become like the, the, one, the ones that guide how we live when we are in that state of, we've not learned, we're still in our very natural state. Uh, but when we learn, we acquire wisdom and knowledge through that, then we are able now to control our human law, human nature. And now we know how to control our anger, we know how to manage our feelings of being jealous, we know how to, um, to, to, to manage our, we become emotionally intelligent, uh, as we, we acquire knowledge and we become wiser and now we are acquired we are we are becoming um, we are becoming good with knowledge I continue reading in explaining the allegory representing the body of a man and his dif different faculties our sages said the evil inclination is called a great king while the good in inclination is a child though wise so that's a, a very interesting way to put it that the evil that we are born with, they've called it uh, king, and 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 now, but the the good inclination is a child, but it's wise. Um, I don't know whether all these sayings of our sages are contained in their writings and are well known. According to our sages, the evil inclination, the adversary Satan, and the angel of death are undoubtedly identical, and the adversary being called angel because he's among the sons of God and the good inclination being in reality an angel is to the good and the evil inclination that they refer is their well-known words. Every person is accompanied by two angels then, one being on his right and one on his left. Um, so as we walk we are always have these two angels one for the good inclinations and one for the bad or the evil inclination and you always have them so I, I interpret it to mean as much as we we grow and learn to be good through wisdom and knowledge we never completely uh, have full control such that we we completely take out the lower human force that we have we are born with we still have anger we still have jealous feelings we still have passion still drives us uh, fear and all these things even when we, we learn so much about them and we know about them and we become wiser these things still drive us fear anger jealous all these emotions they still have a hold on us so we can only control them to a certain level but we can never eliminate them that's why we always walk with that angel of uh, of, the, of, of bad inclination or evil inclination even though we are acquiring this angel of good inclination knowledge and wisdom and, and, and all that and being emotionally intelligent and all that in the Babylonian Gemara which is a, a, an ancient book I guess they say distinctly of the two angels that one is good and one bad see what extraordinary ideas this passage discloses and how many false ideas it removes I believe that I have fully explained the idea contained in the account of Job, but I will now show the character of the opinion attributed to Job and the opinion attributed to his friends. Uh, okay, now that's what it talks about in the next chapter. So anyways, in this video, what I'll say, I'm going, I'm going to summarize it to be that Maimonides takes from the book of Job, he calls it is fictional, but he shows us about our nature of low human and higher human and he shows us how that has been portrayed in the scriptures where it is we are told is is a, an evil angel and a good angel and all of us have those with us the two of them one on our right one on our left at all times so we might have to learn to be wiser so that we control the the evil inclination uh, and then increase the power of the good inclination angel which makes us better humans. If we, we, if we don't grow the good inclination, then we become uh, evil ourselves. Yeah.